this morning, we're learning more about young people being, diagn being diagnosed with colorectal cancer. WJCL 22 News is Savannah Younger joining us live in the studio. And Savannah, you talked to a nurse about what could be playing a factor in this. That's right. And my research shows colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer in the U.S. It has been rising among young people for the past two decades. In Georgia, colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer mortality. According to the National Institute Institutes of Health, the American Cancer Society says in 2023, 20% of diagnoses across the nation were people under the age of 55. That's almost double the rate in 1995. And over 1,500,000 cases are predicted in 2024. An oncology nurse at St. Joseph Candler tells me some factors that contribute to colon cancer. It really makes a difference about whether or not their dietary um, intake, uh, highly processed foods, um, foods that have nitrates in there, lots of red meat, large consumptions of alcohol, smoking, tobacco. Some symptoms of colon and rectal cancer include a change in bowel habits, rectal bleeding and cramping, a pain in the belly area. It is recommended to get tested at age 45, but if you have a family history or any symptoms, you should seek a doctor early on. And Savannah, um, can you explain the difference between colon cancer and rectal cancer? Yes, and colon cancer starts in the large intestine, while rectal cancer begins in the large part of the large intestine, known as the rectum. All right, good information there.